What is your mother's first name, your mother's Christian name? Hannah. Hannah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a big lovely smile coming from there, which is kind of a sign of insecurity. As soon as she said Hannah, her, mother, her mouth closed and her head nodded one more time as if to say, Yes, mummy. Yes, mummy. It's true. <laughs> I, I don't believe for a minute your mum's name is Hannah. That was total rubbish. I don't believe so. <laughs> okay, please walk up to the microphone and tell me your mother's name. Lee, <laughs> what? <laughs> there was a wonderful sort of backwards movement as he looked at me. Trying to create a little bit of distance between us. But the further away, I won't know his name. He looked at me, he had a little bit of a sideways nod in. Yes, it is true, it is true. And his body was stock still, still, <laughs> waiting. I, I don't believe you for a second. You can sit down. Um, please come forward and tell me your mother. Ooh! Do you see what she <laughs> And behind the back is everything is being hidden. Just before she walked out, she went like this. Which is very open and very relaxed. There's, if, if, uh, if she's going to lie to us now, that's scary because she is clearly a psychopathic personality. <laughs> She says, I'm not, and there's a little bit of a head shake, which is like, mm-hmm. <laughs> which is, and again, open, very open gestures, all these open gestures, shaking of the head. She's, she's almost asking me to say she's lying. She's almost daring me to say she's lying. I'm going to say, I'm going to say you're telling the truth. Am I right? Yeah. Ah, oh, excellent. <laughs> I have a text message that my mum sent me. Daniil, good luck with the presentation tomorrow. Love, mum. If you look at this carefully, you'll see that right at the end there, after the W in tomorrow, she's done that. Two dots and a little line. Now, all of you know, you're intelligent people. You know that that is supposed to represent that. And you know that is just a graphical way of representing that, that, or that. <laughs> now, the thing I like about this is this is the best smile. This is the prettiest smile out of this group of three. It's the only genuine smile. This smile and this smile, ugh, ugly, ugly, nasty, ugh. Because they're fake. The difference between a real smile and a fake smile is right here. The orbicularis oculi muscles right here. Yeah. Without these, it's a fake smile. We have a phrase in English, the upper hand. Getting the upper hand means getting an advantage, means winning in some way over someone. And in handshakes, that is literally the case. The hand that is on top is winning the handshake. So if I come in like this, I can push him around a little bit. All of you will know people like this. They come in, they're like, hey, Andre, nice to meet you. And that arm is like a plane coming into land. It goes all the way over the top, all the way down, and then hits like that. And there's no way you can get on that without standing on a ladder or something. And these people will never be shy. They'll always be the pushy guy, the dominant guy, the controlling guy. Usually a man, occasionally a woman, almost always a man. And so sometimes you end up in that position where you're on the bottom, and then that person's going to be a little bit more pushy with you than they would otherwise be. And so before I go to a meeting, I always prepare. I always make sure that I take, very important, I take with me an extra hand so I can go, nice to meet you. And I like one time. You see? Now, if that happens in a meeting, that's just silly. <laughs> right, I spoke to Tuananda before the show. Uh, we went out there and I asked him to draw a picture. Um, something that he chose, something that had some kind of meaning for you, uh, something that was quite simple. And he drew it, and you made sure I didn't see, and it was on, it was a single piece of paper, so it wasn't kind of anything that would press through. You, and you kept it to yourself, yeah? So it's secret, and I don't know, and it's just in your head. Right. I'm going to try and work out what you drew, um, the picture that you drew, but the way to work this out is by knowing what kind of guy he is. Is by knowing what kind of person you are and what kind of thing you would draw. Yeah, what, what, what are you studying? Uh, marketing, or I'm finished, but I'm taking some classes. Marketing, okay. An IT guy, marketing guy, so it's going to be an into IT and solving problems. It's going, to be, it's going to be something quite flashy. What you have is you have this instinct to be flashy and catch people's intention, but then something that brings it down again. So your, your image is going to be flashy and you're really going with that, you're really agreeing with that and that's comfortable with you. So it's going to be something flashy and something, you're vibing on that word, so it's going to be something... Okay? Can we see what that is? I'm gonna, that is what I think, okay? Alright, um, okay, aloud, I'm gonna ask you to tell everybody, what was it that you drew? Loud, so everyone can hear. Uh, I drew, I drew a star. 
I, I'm a bit wobbly on this one, so um, if this is wrong, just remember the star. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please say aloud, everyone can hear, what city were you thinking of? Paris. Star! <laughs> please, loud for everyone to hear, into the microphone. What was the name of the celebrity thinking of? Charlie Sheen. Oh. Thank you. Van Arden, let's not do technical. Philip. Oh! <laughs> so what I really want to show you is how these things can stick inside your mind, how these words can stick inside your mind, and how people make the choices you want them to make. And that is why personal space starts with a P, that's why handshakes contains A, rapport starts with an R, kind has an I in it, and smile starts with an S, which spells P-A-R-I-S. <laughs> what city were you thinking of? Paris. <laughs> <laughs> and I wrote that before we even started. <laughs>